Welcome back, everybody. In part one, we shared the exciting highs of exploring Marienfluss and bouncing up Ubers Pass, followed by the sinking low of checking for damage under the landy and actually finding some. Okay. Yeah, it's all leaking. From the outside, long-term overlanding in Africa may seem to be a never-ending stream of amazing scenery, beautiful animals, and interesting experiences. Uh, my name is Mpusetsa Ng. I live here in Botswana in a country district. I'm from a settlement called Ngujani. And I'm so grateful for this man because he gave me a ride from Itzimansu to my farm. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> the reality though is that a lot of the time it can be challenging and frustrating in so many different ways. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles There's always something else to sort out, something new to learn, another bad road, a new challenge when you least feel like it. It may come as a surprise to you that I'm not naturally a great mechanic. I actually failed woodwork and metalwork at school, for example. So anything mechanical I find stressful and I approach repairs with trepidation and a medical do-no-harm attitude. This is how the rest of the Ubers past day panned out after finding fluid all over the landy axle and driving a few kilometres to take refuge in a campsite. If you'd been in the landy passenger seat for the day since 6am, would you now be rolling up your sleeves to help out or putting up the hammock in the shade with a cold drink? Okay, uh, well, it's been a bit of a, a rubbish afternoon. I uh, got to campsite, it's closed, uh, nobody here, big green rope across the entrance way. Uh, mm, okay. <laughs> Um, pulled under a tree just to have a look underneath the Land Rover and any sort of damage that that um, pass did. There's quite a lot of liquid leaking, uh, it's coolant, the, the bottom hose, um, it's cracked on the joint. Now very annoyingly with all the mechanics that I was doing in Windhoek, I had a brand new set of silicon hoses for everything, um, but uh, with downcoming some of the cylinder hoses didn't quite fit, you know, they had to be trimmed and things, and we just didn't have time. So we put the old one back on, which, you know, okay, <laughs> that's all we could do in the time. Uh, and it's split along the sort of the, the seam of this. It's a three-way hose, um, and it's split along the seam. So it's just the heat, I guess, uh, got a little bit old. That's why I was trying to replace them with silicon one, so I didn't have this problem. Um, so then two guys came. Uh, so I just drove around the corner of the road <laughs> and helped myself to a campsite. Uh, two guys came, one's a local, he's sort of a guardian here, and one's a, a guide who was looking for a ride. They'd uh, seen me or Pende when I was buying some drinks at the shop and then the other in Puros where he's a guide. Uh, so yeah, I had a chat to them and he's, the guide's going to come tomorrow morning for a short ride, if I can get this working. Uh, and the Guardian turned up with a face of death, I have to say. She did not look impressed at all. Uh, That's why I came in and just made a mess and opened all my bags so that it was harder to kick out. You know, I showed her a leak. Anyway, I uh, paid for one night and she's left. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was told that, you know, the, they were under orders by the police to close the place. So, you yeah, know, fair enough. Um, so now we've got the problem of leak, 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 leak. You can see the puddle there, it's just leaking out. I tried some uh, silicon hose on it, but because it's on the um because it's on the, the joint it's not it's not working. Um so the first two, I mean these are, that's easy enough. That one's easy enough. This one almost impossible. We've got this cowling, so I have to take that off and I have to take the top hose off and everything else and oh my goodness. So, uh, unfortunately, we just put that on and you can't quite see it. The Jubilee clip holding the bottom hose had been put in place when the engine bay was empty, without thought of how it could be adjusted when the cowling was back in place. It was impossible to get any kind of ratchet onto it to loosen it off, without starting to dismantle the other components. Quite a major job in some ways. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get uh, 
that one off. And I don't see a good way. And it's four o'clock. I haven't had any lunch. I thought I'd do that pass, get to the campsite and have a nice, long, relaxing lunch. Anyway, uh, so um, uh, I hope you're glad that I'm suffering. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried if police are telling, it might be the local police telling the shutters, but if regional police are telling everyone to shut everything, then where the hell am I supposed to go, you know? I've been in the bush for two and a half, almost three weeks now. I've hardly seen anyone. I'm not going to have uh, so what they're acting, they're acting like all foreigners have I said, well, I've been in the country like five weeks. <laughs> if I had it, it's gone. <laughs> but, you know, people here don't have TV, they don't have internet, it's uh, basic radio and stuff. Anyway, uh, I've got to make a plan. I'm going to need to save some of this coolant as well. So, rough and ready update, and all bad news. <laughs> It's just on a dry riverbed here. Hopefully it stays dry. <laughs> and we've got, uh, you know, barbecue pit, a bit of sink and a bench, and a bit of shade. And uh, more important, we've got some trees. And most important of all, we've got a very, very, very obedient, wide awake guard dog. So slowly uh, trying to save all the old coolant, got about seven litres there and uh, I think I've got about nine litres of new stuff. This one ready to go, it's an old one that I used to have but I trust it. The silicon one, there it is, doesn't quite fit because of this bit over the steering, I think it's made for a different steering pump or something. Uh, Anyway, so I'll put the one I know will fit and not cause me any trouble and then we can try and adapt that in the workshop later on. Yeah, a bit stressful. Uh, so I've just got the, the big problem of getting this bottom bloody cliff off <laughs> all the way down there. It's getting dark and uh, conscious I haven't eaten. Well, it's getting, not getting dark but the sun's going down. Uh, I haven't eaten so I'm conscious of not doing too much of anything bad if you like, uh, anything too serious or something I could make a mistake. That's just a little motivational stop for me because <laughs> I know ah, it annoys me because you know it's my first YouTube sort of series and everyone's gonna think oh what a crap old Land Rover yeah, blah 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 Land Rovers you know and you know for over five years she's been a really solid reliable walk workhorse uh, just spent five thousand pounds on her, you know, she's got a brand new, you can see the aluminium radiator there She's got a brand new turbo that's just been fitted Timing belt was all done, you know, new header tank um, I, I noticed that there's also some uh, Some coolant leaking in here You can't quite probably see it Okay, I'm getting there. I've had to take most of the top radiator and cool the hoses off and the, uh, the big plastic cowling. I can actually reach it now and I've got it moving a little bit. It's a really awkward place. Uh, I remember my mechanic putting this on. So when he's watching this, he's going to remember to make sure that this one faces straight up. All right, now, the other thing is I had a short one of these and it's disappeared in somebody's workshop. So if you own an orange one of these with a flat head, that's what I'm thinking of you at the moment. <laughs> Yashimash, great success. Okay, well, that was it. That, <laughs> if that was sitting like that, I could have reached it easily. But it was sitting like that <laughs> and I couldn't reach it. It was jammed right up against something. So I had to take everything off. Anyway, uh, that's life. That's what I had to do. I had to remove this cowling so I could get my hand down in here. And I keep cutting myself on that, which was annoying. I think I blew it uh, just coming up that mountain pass, uh, which isn't much of a surprise because 
it was already hot uh, from driving in the sand. Goodbye. Uh, okay, well, in theory, we got it out and uh, managed to save, I'd say, six liters of coolant. And then I've got eight, and I only need twelve, so I think we'll be okay. I'm just worried that putting it back in, we don't quite tighten it up, or this new one leaks too. All right, let's uh, let's do that. Eh? Um, it's going to get dark soon, and then. Uh... If you want blood, you got it. <laughs> uh, a little bit painful. Quite a good slice, actually. Uh, but anyway, I've popped a paracetamol, and we'll uh, stick some savlon on it, or some detol, or something, and worry about it later. Just sharing it. Uh, Show how amazingly brave and slash stupid I am. And because it's hurting and I just need to take a break. <laughs> Put it under some water, eh? I just uh, slip slightly on the um on that stupid bolt that's holding the cowling in. Alright, let's crack on. Good news is I got the bottom got the bottom hose on uh, and it fits that old one. Guardian's just arrived and he's freaked out because uh, he believes they're shut and corner and I'm a foreigner and clearly I have corner and uh, his English is not so good. So, Joyce, anyway, uh, on, uh, plus good news, uh, we have the right technology, uh, so I can actually get this down in there and tighten it, I think, in the right place. So it's a bit of a concoction uh, between a few different toolkits, but uh, yeah, I'm very proud of myself if this works. <laughs> And if you're telling me to get a Toyota, bugger off. All right, so we got the bottom hose in and just putting the rest of these back together. Um, I'm trying to do everything now. I'm kind of focused and in the zone. And I think tomorrow I'll be sort of wiped out and the sun will probably come up over here and I'll be in the sun and things like that. Uh, so just trying to keep concentrating and keep doing it. Uh, the Guardians are still muttering. When I finish I'll go and have a, another chat to them and see if I can calm them down. <laughs> okay, uh, well, <laughs> she works. Uh, so that's the main thing. Um, yeah, it's, I mean it's not a... It's not like doing a you know, gearbox change in the middle of nowhere. But uh, yeah, that so took quite a long time, three hours or so, just been trying to be meticulous and emptying, saving the coolant and so forth. Um, yeah, anyway, it's dark. The Guardians are, I don't know, settled down or whatever they're done. So I need to pack up the entire Land Rover again and put the spare wheel on and put the lock on and everything <laughs> and then try and have a cold shower, I would imagine. Uh, anyway, it's uh, good to to get most of it done tonight and I can sleep in in the morning and test, do a bit of a test and have some breakfast. Right, that's over landing. <laughs> so the work goes on, uh, just putting away the, uh, this is a spare coolant that I keep, it's sort of a pre-mix, I keep a few litres of it, plus a big five litre. And, uh, anyway, it's all gone quiet. I'm not sure if the Guardians have decided to mu mutiny and run away, or if they were actually the Guardians, or <laughs> maybe they were just coming here to have a shower at night. They all had sort of a workman's uniform on, which would suggest that they were some kind of worker. Alright, uh, still got my faithful dog, so that's good. In the event of anything, he'll be there for me. These spare parts are quite probably a blue hose. Because it's so tight, nothing. Anything exciting 
in the hidden cans, like canned chocolate. Oh no, I'm having baked beans. Oh, sweet corn will be nice. All right, oh, I'll spare you the rest of my packing system. <laughs> anyway, it's good night for me. Uh, I'm going to finish packing, jump in the shower, cold shower, and uh, jump into bed, and hopefully everything's all right with the Guardian's problems. I had a nice little end to the day because, uh, amazingly, halfway through my freezing cold shower, <laughs> the, uh, the hot water came on. What a smart pretty bad like uh being flooded and that but yeah so that was nice so feel good uh in theory the land river's okay and uh yeah a few cuts and scrapes but not too bad so hopefully a quiet night here got my loyal guard dog and uh that's my light over there so I, when i turn it off it's pitch black we still don't have any moon uh that's fine all right i'm gonna have some sweet corn and tuna on crackers that's how I roll, <laughs> and uh, we'll definitely see you tomorrow. I already said that, but uh, I just thought nice to, to finish on a high, and uh, yeah, see what tomorrow brings. Bye! Just compromise, it's the chance of your life